a divine narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 3540, advises the importance and vastness of the forgiveness of Allah, the Exalted. The first part of the narration declares that as long as a Muslim sincerely supplicates to Allah, the Exalted, and hopes in his mercy they will be forgiven by him. This response has in fact been guaranteed for all lawful supplications in the Holy Quran, not just for the supplication of forgiveness. Chapter 40 Gafia, verse 60. And your Lord says, Call upon me, I will respond to you. In fact, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, mentioned this verse and declared that supplication is an act of worship meaning, a righteous deed. This has been advised in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 1479, a narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 3604, advises that every supplication is accepted in different ways as long as it is a lawful one. The person is either granted what they requested or a reward will be reserved for them in the hereafter or they will be forgiven an equivalent sin. But it is important to note, that in order to receive a positive response a Muslim must fulfill the conditions and the etiquettes of the supplication. In respect to supplicating for forgiveness, this includes actively striving to avoid sins and sincerely obeying Allah, the Exalted, as it contradicts common sense to ask for forgiveness while persisting on sins. One of the greatest supplications a Muslim can make is for forgiveness, as it is a means for one obtaining blessings, avoiding difficulties in this world and a means to obtaining paradise and escaping hell in the next world. Chapter 71, New, verses 10 to 12. And said, Ask forgiveness of your Lord. Indeed, he is ever a perpetual forgiver. He will send rain from the sky upon you in continuing showers and give you increase in wealth and children, and provide for you gardens, and provide for you rivers. As indicated by the main narration under discussion having hope in the infinite mercy of Allah, the Exalted, when supplicating is a condition for forgiveness. In fact, Allah, the Exalted, acts according to his servant's opinion of him, which has been confirmed in a divine narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 7405. One of the greatest causes of forgiveness is when a Muslim only hopes in Allah, the Exalted, to forgive them, full well knowing no one can forgive them or protect them from punishment except Allah, the Exalted. The next thing mentioned in the main narration under discussion is that no matter how many sins a person commits the mercy and forgiveness of Allah, the Exalted, is greater. In fact, it is unlimited, therefore a person's limited sins will never be able to overcome it. It is why the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised Muslims to magnify what they supplicate for, as nothing is too great for Allah, the Exalted, to grant. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 6812. But it is important to note that using the fact that the forgiveness of Allah, the Exalted, is infinite as an excuse to persist in sins, is only mocking this important truth and the one who behaves in such a manner may be deprived of his forgiveness. The next part of the main narration under discussion indicates the importance of sincerely seeking the forgiveness of Allah, the Exalted, which has been mentioned in many verses and other narrations. This act of seeking forgiveness is a part of sincere repentance. It can be understood that seeking forgiveness is an act of the tongue while the rest of sincere repentance involves turning away from the sin through actions. Sincere repentance also includes feeling genuine remorse, making a firm promise not to commit the sin again and making up for any rights which have been violated in respect to Allah, the exalted, and people. It is important to note, that not persisting on the same sin is a condition for the repentance to be accepted. Chapter 3 Ali Imran, verse 135. And those who, when they commit an immorality, or wrong themselves by transgression, remember Allah, and seek forgiveness for their sins. And who can forgive sins except Allah, and who do not persist in what they have done while they know. It is extremely important for a Muslim to be persistent in seeking forgiveness as this leads to deliverance from every worry, a way out from every difficulty and support from places where one would not expect. This has been advised in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 1518, 
The next thing mentioned in the main narration under discussion is the greatest cause of forgiveness namely, not associating anything with Allah, the exalted. There are two types of associating things with Allah, the exalted, major polytheism and minor polytheism. The major type is when one worships things other than Allah, the exalted, or in addition to him. The minor version is when one acts for other than to please Allah, the exalted, such as showing off. This has been warned in a narration found in Sunan ibn Imajah, number 3989. In fact, the one who acts for the sake of people will be told by Allah, the exalted, on judgment day to seek their reward from those they acted for, which will not be possible. This is confirmed in a narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 3154. The one who acts in this way will find that they will eventually be exposed in this world and no matter how well they treat others, they will never gain their real love or respect because of their bad intention. This has been indicated in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 6705. When one realizes the oneness of Allah, the exalted, they only intend, think, act and speak for the pleasure of Allah, the exalted, out of fear and love for him. This behavior minimizes the chances of committing sins and whatever sins do occur will be forgiven by Allah, the Exalted. It is the reason why the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, declared in a narration found in Sunan ibn Imajah, number 3797, that the statement that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, the Exalted, removes all wrong actions. This is the behavior all Muslims must strive to adopt. The foundation of it is gaining and acting on the teachings of the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This will ensure one uses the blessings they have been granted in ways pleased to Allah, the exalted. This will minimize one's sins and always encourage them towards sincere repentance whenever they happen to sin. This leads to forgiveness, peace and success in both worlds. Chapter 16 and now, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter, according to the best of what they used to do.